We've looked at different environments and seen how they influence our health behavior, from the environment at home to the environment in the office. Every day, however, we also commute between these two environments, and these daily transits are great for incorporating activity in your daily routine. Now, although most people advocate more conscious living and conscious choices, in this MOOC we make a plea for unconscious health behavior. Sometimes, however, it requires a one-time conscious decision making to change your routine. In this video we're going to discuss our daily transit from home to work. Do you think about this consciously every morning? How shall I go to work today? No. Most people will just go in the same way as they go every day. It's part of the daily routine, all the things they do every day without thinking about them. And that is what makes these behaviors so attractive for us, that they come back every day. If you can make small improvements to your routine, these improvements come back every day for days to come and have large and lasting effects. We've already seen how we've become very inactive in our modern environment. Daily transits are big opportunities to build in a bit more activity in your day. Studies show that people of 50 years of age who ride a bike to work are on average 5 kilos lighter compared to people who take the car. I'm convinced that for almost all of us, we have something to win here. We can make our daily transit a bit more active. So those people that now think, well, I already come by bike every day, I live only 5 minutes from work, you could consider walking to work. Walking is much more active than biking, in that way it will take you about 15 minutes. So with a back and forth transit, you have the daily recommended 30 minutes of activity in your day. You can also buy a longboard, a fun way to convert your daily commute into a playful workout. Or a folding bike, and then you can easily combine your biking with public transport. The same goes for people that now go by train or car because their work is too far to walk or bike. You can also do part of your daily transit walking or a bike. An example. I had a colleague who lived about 40 minutes by car from the office. And every day she would come in saying, it took me 20 minutes again to reach the office from the border of Leiden. As soon as I got off the freeway, I could just get in line, car after car, moving into town step by step. And one day she decided to buy a bike and park it at the border of Leiden. And every day she would park her car and take the bike to arrive in the office in only 15 minutes. Not only 5 minutes quicker, but also incorporating the recommended 30 minutes of activity in her day. From that moment onwards, this was her new routine. Smiling at the cars in line. She had managed to hack her environment by adding a bike in the parking lot. A one-time conscious decision and a worry-free routine afterwards. Let me give you another example, one from my own life. For six years, I've traveled between The Hague and Leiden. Now, on this trajectory, the car is only for masochists who like to suffer. The traffic is horrible in peak hours. So, at first, I took my bike to the train and then the train to Leiden. And in this way, I had about 2 times 15 minutes of biking in my daily routine. Remember, I don't really like sports and in this way, I could easily fit in the recommended 30 minutes of exercise. For six years, I traveled like this. But then I became more and more convinced that it was not active enough for me. I'd gained some weight, I did not feel as fit anymore. And let us consider my options. I could, of course, bike the entire way. But that would take me an hour. Unless I would go faster. So, I borrowed a racing bike. I found that I could make it in 40 minutes. But then I would need a locker and a shower. So I arranged a locker and a shower in the hospital. And I also like to ride partly through the forest. So in the end, I bought a hybrid bike, a combination of a racing bike and a mountain bike. And from then on, my working days started entirely different. They would start and end with 45 minutes of fun. It was great. And the good thing is, it was not only good for my body, I not only felt more fit, I also noticed how it was good for my mind. The two times 45 minutes every day without email, articles to read, messages, that's luxury. It was one of the best decisions I ever made. The only thing I now wonder is why I've been taking the train for six years before I found out how nice it is to ride the bike. So, consider your daily routine and find the moments in your day where you can build in more activity. It will come back every day and you will feel happier and healthier. In the next step, we will visit Copenhagen and look at how cities can make themselves attractive for bikes and seduce people to bike more.